with the score, the California Quakes four, the New York Enforcers still a goose egg on the board, Hawk, no question. The Quakes are saying they want the title of leaders of the pack. Well, not only that, but they wanted to show the New York Enforcers that they came to play, they can play one, so good, let's play two. Now, we have talked about the renewed play of Stacy Blitch and the California Quakes, but big Janet Abraham doesn't think much of it. They're out there flaunting their bodies. Hey, this ain't about showing your boobs and showing off your bodies. This is about skating and working your jams and trying to score points, not uh, bragging on your body trying to show it off. This isn't Playboy. Well, director Mike Miller took you up close in the first of what I promise is many confrontations between Connell Mack and Gunn on the other side of the track away from the referees. Janet Abraham just labeled Faith Urban and now right off the bat breaking free for the California Quakes. This is Jamie Connell and Hawk Gunner is out. Well, I'll tell you what, Linda Leisure out there and before you saw some Shelly Russell, a little bit of Edie Bull Bull without Heather Gunn, he looks like she sat back down. Uh, who took it, the, the header into the rail at the hands of Jamie Connemack, they're in big trouble, Ken. And Linda Leeson sends to Jamie Connemack, perhaps some retribution for her teammate Heather Gunn, as Hawk said, who's now riding the pines right now, but it's now Linda Leeson and Bo Bowman closing on the pack, big Janet Abraham back to block, calling him up, also now dropping back to see what she can do against Abraham and the two enforcer channels. It's Stacy Blitz and a double whip from Janet Abraham backfired. Abraham a little too strong for the two enforcer jammers and they go down for the sheer power of the whip and Jamie Connemann goes right by. Talk about bad strategy by the New York enforcers. Janet Abraham a little too strong putting one more point on the board for the Quakes. And speaking of strength, I don't know who Stacy Blitz that she's starting to fight with, but she is in the face of Janet and Abraham mixing it up, and that is one place I wouldn't want to be, Ken. You know, Stacey Blitz really had her own way in the earlier game against the Russells. Perhaps she forgot that she's now on the track with the New York Enforcers, and of all the Enforcer women, Janet Abraham is the last one you'd want to pick a fight with. And Sean Corbin has his hands full, but right here you see the Sisters of the Suffering with their three stooges routine, maybe the Keystone Cup, as Janet Abraham slams two of them into each other. And don't let me forget to remind the Sisters of Suffering that you refer to them as the Keystone Cup. <laughs> Referee Sean Corbett says both Janet Abraham and Stacey Blitz for the penalty box. One jab penalty each for fighting. This could well Hawk open up some scores with the two big blockers on them in the penalty box. Well, here you see Shelly Russell, and I guess Heather Gunn's going to try it again, but usually by this point, Ken, she would have accelerated way past the pack on a use with the usual Heather Gunn and Heather Sunderman for the California Quakes, number 31, they would have no chance of keeping up with her, but right now she's just not full strength. And it's two to one. Heather Sunderman certainly has her work cut out for her. Shelly Rossell breaks free, leaving Gunnan to deal with Sunderman, and Gunnan does a great job turning around and sending Sunderman right to the track. Remember, so far the enforcers have been shut out in five good plays. But what a golden opportunity. There are two best cameras out all alone, and right now the only one back for the Quakes is Faith Urban. Remember, Stacy looks at the penalty box, as we thought. The enforcers go right by Urban, and now they're closing in on the leader of the pack, and Sunderman goes into the rail. The enforcers certainly, and now Sidney Zimmerman is spun into the rail. The enforcers are right back at this one. Right over the rail goes Brooks Sunderman. Big jam for the enforcers. Six points for the New York Enforcers as they regain the lead. Now the Enforcers who like a low scoring game, how many times do they go to their go-to gals, Rosella and Gunn, and very quickly they're back out the front? Well, Mark D'Amato knows what they need, and when they do need points, they call on speed. They do like low scoring, and you look at Sean Atkinson, a much different Sean Atkinson now than in the first game leading to the mega match, much more concerned in the face of the act attack. Corbett doing a good job really trying to keep this game under control. Illegal blocked by Karen Magnuson. He immediately sends her to the penalty box. So an opportunity for the Quakes now to regain the lead. Cindy Zimmerman gets the whip from Stacey Blitz. Or rather, a take it back. It was Jamie Connemack. Connemack goes down. The whip from Blitz a little too strong. Now we've got the speech for Amy Craig for the Quakes now. And she puts down Linda Leisure. Craig now closing on the pack. You say she's a speedster, but I tell you what, kids, something we don't usually see from Amy Craig, number 30, a good shot of her there for the Quakes, is physical aggression, and she took it right to Linda Leisure. Good for Amy Craig. Remember, Amy Craig back after sitting out a, a number of games with back spasms. 
great, pretty well Weston. As remember, the Quakes had a pretty easy time of it. What a great job right there by Stacy Blitz taking down both Janet Abraham and April Tuttle. Stacy Blitz is really challenging Janet Abraham to become one of the best blockers of the WSL. Well, she's one of the best blockers, but right there you saw an illegal block by Stacy Blitz and Sean Corbin, our referee, rules off the points because an illegal block above the shoulder by Stacy Blitz. With the score of the New York Enforcer 6, the California Quakes 5 will be back.